We're going to do another little way of looking at the world in between. Fascinating talk, particularly if you look back at the, the history of Visa. But I'm going to get you all to do a little thing. So everybody's got a finger, so you all need to put up a finger. And you know the letter Q, the capital letter Q, the English letter Q? So I'd like you all to draw the letter Q on your forehead. Okay, Letter Q on your forehead. I need to see lots of... Okay. So, quick test. How many people drew it that way for the other person? Okay. How many people drew it that way for themselves? So this is actually a very fast way about how, see, how people see the world. It turns out around half the world drew it that way for other people. Service industries, things like that. What should I do, mother? I should do it that way for you. And then half the world do it that way. Typically, entrepreneurs tend to do it that way. Because if you are going to do crazy things, such as change bank branching, then you're going to kind of not care what other people think. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce our next speaker to you. And this is um, Sveteslav, and he's going to teach us through uh, the end of bank branching. Many thanks. Cheers. Hi there. No matter that you see our name as major sponsor, I'll try not to bore you to death. So uh, I'll speak about our vision how we see the future of the bank branch. Or why not the end of the banking as we know it. So, let's speak about uh, how things are moving in the last 20 years. Uh, actually, 25. Uh, our idea is that uh, each and every technology leap is equal to rise and fall of a corporate giant, or actually many corporate giants. So, in 1992, Microsoft introduced the idea of user interface operating system. And uh, this was the beginning of uh, Microsoft era. Uh, 1997, Google, actually this is not the original Google logo <laughs> in the very beginning, it was too ugly to put it <laughs> here. Anyways, uh, uh, the idea was that uh, they came with a totally different approach uh, for uh, rating the sites. They came with the idea that uh, you don't measure only the content, you measure also the references of other sites to the original site which is ranked. So, again, big change now, ABC. The company which uh, makes a big splash on the financial markets, no matter what's happening on the financial markets is oh. Facebook, the company which tapped in the narcissism of people, the, what people love uh, uh, to share how they feel, how, they, how they, uh, their life is going, uh, so they make a big change. Uh, in the way how we communicate. So, recently I heard uh, the, the wish, uh, I wish you your life to be as good as it looks on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the reality. So, uh, these days, 2016, do you remember Kodak? Major a uh, company which uh, was providing all these uh, big fancy machines uh, which, uh, uh, where you give your film and they develop it and they finally come with the uh, pictures uh, or TDK, the cassette recorders and stuff uh, or Sanyo, how Piccadilly Circus is looking now without their logo. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you don't adapt, you disappear or you go back from where you have started. So, I try to go deeper into this idea uh, with some uh, examples uh, which uh, I guess uh, sound familiar for everybody. How the technology affects the mu music industry. In the 90s, uh, there was big record companies 
and you go there and you, uh, they have shops, you go there, you buy uh, records, venues, or uh, later CDs. Uh, but uh, everything was offline, everything was material. Then the demand for quality music, I mean uh, better encoding and uh, uh, more durable media came. So with, uh, and with the penetration of internet, uh, we had uh, uh, the Amazon started offering uh, download of MP3 uh, records. Uh, uh, the CD came, uh, became actually popular, much cheaper compared to the vinyl players. Uh, and uh, then people became even more demanding. They wanted their music right now uh, on any device. And then somebody came with the streaming. So, so uh, if you uh, ask yourself why Apple uh, bought uh, Mr. Dre company, it wasn't about the fancy looking headphones. It was all about the streaming. So right now, compared to the 90s, we have uh, our music everywhere on every device we have uh, uh, and uh, with instant access. So, uh, and something even better, we don't pay any more for an item, we pay a subscription fee. So we have Spotify, we have Apple Music, uh, and furthermore, we have open platforms like SoundCloud, where artists can try to find their way to the general public just by uploading uh, their tracks directly. So for less than 25 years, this industry was completely reshaped, and uh, majors like Sony just got out of this. Again, same example with, with different industry, accommodation, hotels. I'll go faster through this uh, timeline. Booking agencies, online booking, and today, Airbnb. So you see, uh, if you don't uh, participate in the stream, things are really fast changing and uh, you will get out. So what exactly happened? I tried to uh, summarize the differences, uh, what happened before and what's going on now. Uh, we have offline versus online. We have in the past high transaction cost and right now we have mostly free uh, services with options to upgrade for something more. In the past, we should have wait for delivery. Right now, we have uh, instant access, especially for digital content. Uh, in the past, we needed to plan in advance. Right now, we can do it in the last minute. Actually, last summer, I was traveling through Italy, and I enjoyed really great offers uh, by using uh, the now app of booking.com. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, you just say, where we will sleep today. <laughs> this is how it goes. So the major one, uh, which I think is the, the, the really big impact on the, uh, how things are changing is that uh, in the past, the user has, uh, the, the, the uh, average user has uh, access to a single supplier or he should sh they should spend a lot of time looking for different offers. Right now, we have instant access to many suppliers with, uh, and we can choose between offers, among offers. So. so, where is the bank in this whole picture? Thanks God, we are on a very secure place. <laughs> we are preserved by the legislation. <laughs> the capital requirements, the overregulated market, okay, they give us chance to uh, realize that something is going on. But 
We are facing fast consumer lending, uh, which grows by the minute. Uh, common grounds uh, uh, for banks like payments uh, right now are heavily uh, used uh, by companies like PayPal, Stripe Square, peer-to-peer -peer payments right now on a very affordable price and we are just watching. So, what we can do for this? But before that, just to see what's going on. Branch, why branch is not uh, uh, capable to continue anymore as it is? Uh, because it's not online, it's uh, really against all the idea which I mentioned. So let's forget about the branch. So how to adapt? We don't speak about future of mobile payments. We do it. Right now, a few days ago, we launched uh, our uh, host card emulation payment with MasterCard. And everybody, I mean, for the time being, customers of FIB, but uh, we, you can register upstairs uh, on uh, our stand. Uh, you can use our host card emulation and use your phone to pay. This is it. Uh, furthermore, what we offer is uh, uh, e-channels on mobile devices and the other one, the big one, API, open for third parties to use our services white labeled. So we are ready to share with anybody who is willing to implement a banking service. You may be a MNO, you may be a, a really successful startup with a good customer base, and you want to implement a payment service or any kind of uh, uh, financially related service. So we have the really nice Lego, Lego constructor, and we are not anymore the selfish child which doesn't want to share the constructor with anybody. So feel free, you are in invited to use our open API to integrate banking services. Thank you. <laughs>